up to the free throw line. All right, coming up this weekend, this game will be on ABC. We've got the Connecticut Huskies versus the University of Maryland Terrapins. Both teams are ranked. Obviously, the big news when it comes to the Huskies is the absence of AZ Fudd, who's slated to miss three to six weeks with that knee injury. This is going to be an important a game for both of these squads, but without AZ, Rebecca, where do you start? Well, that, that's the big thing, is that you see the injury, it happened right there as Bransford is trying to push through the screen and and Aaliyah Edwards lands on AZ Fudd's knee. So this is a Connecticut team. This is the second year now that they are dealing with injury. Of course, a season ago, they lost Paige Beckers for much of the season. They didn't have AZ Fudd for a lot of games a season ago. They missed Dorka Juhas at times last season. She has been out the past couple uh, with her broken thumb. They're hopeful that she will return in the next couple of games. But it's very familiar territory, unfortunately, for Connecticut in that their number one most important player is lost for a chunk of time last year. It was Paige Beckers, and now it's AZ Fudd, and we'll see how they weather the storm. They weathered it pretty nicely a season ago. Yeah. All right, so when we look to this matchup, where do you start, though? Like, what players? The, well, if I'm looking at this matchup as a whole, mm -hmm. and I'm including Maryland as yep. part of this, which mm -hmm. of course we are, it's Diamond Miller. I love Diamond Miller's game. And, and when you look at Diamond Miller, uh, her ability to score, she leads Maryland in scoring. She leads them in rebounding. She's a player who is capable of making three-point shots. Not at a great clip yet, but she's capable. Mm -hmm. uh, she is a player who has terrific footwork around the paint, and she is really explosive uh, and effective when she can drive to the basket and a player who really likes to drive left even though she's a right-handed player. Let's take a look at uh, an example of some of these. So here is Diamond Miller at, at the top of your screen. The defense knows she drives, knows she drives left. It doesn't matter. She's explosive. Only two dribbles from outside the three-point line to get her inside. Now here, Brenda Freeze also knows that Diamond Miller likes to drive and is really effective uh, driving left. So she runs a little Iverson action. She's just going to curl over the top here. And when she gets the basketball, her teammate's going to come and set an on-ball screen for her to go where, Monica? to go left. Yeah, so okay. she takes a couple dribbles, go left. Well, Notre Dame does a pretty good job on the help side getting in. It doesn't matter. Strong, explosive, powerful. She's able to make it to the basket. Here is another example. Once again, they get her the basketball. So her player on the strong side is going to elevate up to clear away that left lane so she can get there. Well, KK Bransford's read the scouting report. She also knows that Miller wants to go left, stops her, but then she shows that beautiful footwork I was talking about to get back inside. Here right now is the play that won the game against Notre Dame. The clock running down. Who do you want to get the ball to? You want to Simon get the ball Miller. to Simon Miller. Yes, which, way, which way do you want to let her go? Left. If you're Maryland, you want to get her something going left. Mm -hmm. So here, here comes the on-ball screen. She uses it, going left, surveys, doesn't love what she sees. Oh, let me set her another one to go left. This time, Notre Dame does a good job walling up. Citron is right there. She hits the off-balance shot and able to finish. This is a player who thrives when she can put the ball on the deck, going to the left side. Check out these numbers according to Synergy. When she has direct line drives, which way does she like to go Monica to the left to the left what's that a, fi a five to one ratio so you, you know or no 11 to 2 whatever it is you <laughs> know that Diamond Miller wants to go left defenses know it it doesn't mean they can stop it she's really effective and explosive when she can uh, go to that side oh, of the floor. I love being a student of the game I was all into that tape that was excellent <laughs> okay they say a pressure bursts pipes or in this case pressure makes diamonds but when it comes to this Maryland Terrapin squad and Debbie touched on it a little bit in the broadcast Rebecca we've seen so much parody we've seen a handful of top 25 teams already uh, take some losses I wouldn't say surprising losses but we're seeing the parody of the women's games grow and Maryland in particular is a team that we've questioned some of their consistency really good wins and then some quizzical losses at this point in the season what is the biggest thing that teams need to answer in general. I think it goes hand in hand when they showed the graphic of the teams in the top 10 and the preseason top 10 that are no longer in the poll and a team like Maryland. What do those teams kind of have in common when they're going up and down mm -hmm. right now? They have a lot of transfers in mm -hmm. their first okay. year playing significant roles. It's going to take time. These are going to be much different teams in February than they are now. Got it. Well, we will be looking forward to February.